Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will solve a problem on constrained optimization. That is, maximize utility, that is u is equal to x1 into x2, such that 10x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 240. Also find marginal utility of money. So we will optimize this function using Lagrange's multiplier. So this is our objective function and this is the constraint part here uh, this is the budget of the consumer and this is the uh, utility function of the consumer now we have to maximize this first of all uh, as we have seen in earlier videos we will set the constraint equal to zero so we will set this equal to zero means set constraint equal to zero this means uh, 240 minus 10 x1 minus 2 x2 is equal to zero so the first step is to set the constraint equal to zero second step is multiply this constraint by lambda so we will multiply this constraint by lambda that means multiplying it by lambda so this will become lambda times 240 minus 10 x1 minus 2 x2 so i repeat first we set the constraint equal to 0 that is this will become 2 240 and we will transpose this this will become minus uh, 10 x and minus 2 x2 that i have written here after that we will multiply this constraint by lambda now the uh, third step is we will form the Lagrange's function. Now, Lagrange's function is formed by Lagrange's function is formed by adding the objective function with the with this uh, constraint. So this will become x1 uh, x2 plus adding this constraint after multiplying it by lambda. So this will become lambda times 240 minus 10x1 minus 2x2 now this is our Lagrange's function now to get the optimal values of x1 and x2 we will partially differentiate this Lagrange's function with respect to x1 x2 and lambda and set them equal to 0 so we will partially differentiate this partially differentiating differentiating with respect to x1 x2 and lambda and set them equal to them equal to 0 so we will see now I will write L of 1 means I am differentiating this Lagrange's function with respect to x1 now this will become here the, co uh, the derivative of x1 is 0 so here I got this x2 plus now lambda into 240 since no x1 is involved so derivative is 0 so now lambda into minus 10 x1 so here this will become minus 10 because the derivative of x1 is uh, 1 so this will become uh, 10 lambda and I will set it equal to 0 or I can write it as x2 is equal to 10 lambda now let this be equation first similarly we will differentiate this with respect to uh, x2 so l2 means differentiating this Lagrange's function with respect to x2 now here it will become the derivative of x2 is 1 so here uh, we got x1 now uh, the, here it is plus so I will write here now lambda 240 no x2 is involved so derivative is 0 because the uh, derivative of a constant uh, sorry because no uh, x2 involved so its uh, derivative is 0 similarly lambda into 10 x1 no x2 is involved so derivative is 0 now lambda into minus 2 x2 here the derivative of x2 is 1 now lambda into minus 2 will we get here so this is minus 2 lambda now set this is uh, this also equal to 0 now further uh, writing this is 
x1 is equal to now transposing this on RHS this will become plus uh, plus uh, 2 lambda now let this be equation second similarly uh, differentiating this Lagrange's function with respect to lambda so L of lambda is equal to now since uh, in this part no lambda is involved so derivative is 0 now here the derivative of lambda is 1 so we will get 240 minus 10 x1 minus 2 x2 that is equal to 0 now solving uh, let this be equation third now to get the value of x1 uh, and x2 we will uh, we will divide equation 2 by 1 so uh, dividing dividing equation equation 2 by 1 so this will become x2 divided by x1 so this will become x2 our x1 and on RHS this will become uh, 10 lambda our 2 lambda here it is 10 lambda over 2 lambda now further solving this implies this will become lambda and lambda will cancel each other and 2 ones are 2 fives are 10 so this will become x2 over x1 is equal to 5 or or x2 is equal to now x2 x2 into 1 and it is equal to 5 x1 so we will insert this value of x2 in equation third now put x2 is equal to 5 x uh, x1 5 x1 in equation third so uh, this will become 240 minus 10 x1 uh, minus 2 now the value of x2 is 5 x 5 x1 and set it equal to 0 as it is in the equation third now this is 240 minus uh, this is 2 fives are 10 x1 and here also it is 10 x1 now minus 10 x1 and minus 10 x1 is minus uh, 20 x1 is equal to uh, 0 implies uh, 20 x1 is equal to 240 or x1 is equal to 240 over 20 so this is uh, now further solving this implies the value of x is 2 ones are 2 12 is r so the value of x1 is 12 now we will uh, put the value of x1 in equation or i will put the, uh, the value of this x1 in this let this be equation 4 so i will write this as equation 4 now put x1 is equal to 12 in equation equation 4 now therefore therefore x2 is equal to 5 times now the value of x1 is 12 implies implies the value of x2 is x2 is pi 2 is are 60 now we got the value of x1 and x2 now we will find the value of uh, lambda now therefore to find the value of lambda we will put the values of x1 and x2 in either equation first or second so therefore put value of x2 in equation equation first now the equation first is now x2 is x2 is given that is 60 is equal to 10 times lambda implies lambda is equal to 60 over 10 that means lambda is equal to 6 
now the optimal bundle is x1 is equal to 12 x2 is 60 and lambda is 6 now the value of lambda tells us if there is incremental one unit change in the constraint constant of this constraint the constant of this constraint the utility will change by six units that means the marginal utility marginal utility utility of money when when x1 is 12 and x2 is 60 is six uh, is six that means if the uh, if the budget changes by one unit there will be six units change in the utility function or if uh, the budget increases by one unit utility will increase by six units so this was all about maximizing utility functions i hope you enjoy the video if you uh, if you really enjoyed the video please subscribe and share the uh, the youtube channel that is econ econ maths where i will cover all the mathematical economics stuff for you thank you very much